Behind me is a devastating and tragic picture of a young child in Gaza who was starved to death. I believe he had an autoimmune disorder and was unable to receive the right nutrition that he needed for himself to survive. In the midst of conflict and suffering, the world often overlooks the stories of those most affected. Today, we shed light on the heartbreaking tale of Yazan Kafarna, a young boy whose life was cut short by the harsh realities of life in Gaza. Welcome, viewers, to our special report on the life and death of Yazan Kafarna. This is a story that demands our attention and action. Yazan Kafarna, a 10-year-old kid, was just one of many children living in Gaza, a place marked by poverty, conflict, and limited access to basic necessities. Yazan was a bright and joyful child. He had dreams and aspirations like any other child, but his reality was far from ordinary. Yazan's life took a tragic turn when he fell ill due to malnutrition and lack of medical care. Despite his family's efforts, they were unable to provide him with the necessary treatment. The situation in Gaza is dire. The blockade and ongoing conflict have severely limited access to essential medical supplies and services. Yazan's story serves as a reminder of the urgent need for action. No child should suffer and die due to circumstances beyond their control. Overall, the situation of children in Gaza is dire and urgent action is needed to address their needs and protect their rights. International support and advocacy are crucial in bringing attention to their plight and providing them with the assistance they desperately need to thrive. As we mourn the loss of Yazan Kafarna, let us also commit ourselves to creating a world where every child has the opportunity to thrive. Thank you for joining us. Rest in peace, Yazan. Your story will not be forgotten.